Hello guys, this is another tutorial for pancakes.co.cc Now, today I'm going to be teaching you how to flash your SuperPad 1 with another firmware using the recovery menu and the update.zip procedure Now, if, you're, if you need to update your device to Android 2.2 and that, that'll be in the next tutorial and that'll be using a bootable microSD now the first thing you want to do, you want to download the update.zip file from the link in the post and then copy that into the into the um, root of your micro ST. Now you have to make sure that it is not unzipped because then it will not work if you unzip it. Alright, so you want to go to the side of your super pad and then you want to See the two USB ports. Let me just take that off to make it clearer. And then you want to put it inside the micro SD slot over there. So that micro SD slot, also known as slot one. Now after that, you want to turn it back, and you want to make sure that all your files are backed up before you actually do this procedure. Okay, so let's start off by pressing the power and the home button, um, pressing and holding it until you see a different logo than the Infotmic one. Sorry for the dodgy brightness, but it's just how it, it turned out to be after a while. And then after that, you want to let me just move the camera up a bit. You'll be presented with a couple of options. You'll have the reboot now. You have the update.zip, wipe data slash factory reset, or wipe cache partition. Now, before you actually update, you want to make sure that the seller told you that it was um, it was a SuperPad one with 256 megs of RAM and an Infotmig X210 or X220 processor and two gigs of internal memory. Now, if you're Seller didn't tell you that and told you that you have 512 megs of RAM and 4 gigs of internal memory Then most likely it is a super pad 2 and you should not attempt this procedure Now the first thing you want to do you want to wipe data or factory reset Because then this will allow the procedure to be much smoother Now if you have important files in there then I suggest you do not do this But since my tablet PC has already been erased let's go on using volume up buttons to actually Navigate through the menu to apply SD card update.zip and then press menu in order to perform the procedure. Now, zooming out, you will see a progress bar if you can see it there, and it's some verbose statuses over there. I couldn't really see much of it since I'm at a different angle. Now, while, uh, while we're waiting for it to install, I'm just going to pause the video. Okay, so now that everything is installed, you want to go to Reboot System Now. So, let's just press me the menu button. Hold on. And you'll reboot the system. Now, typically, the first boot can be really dodgy. So if you have any issues with the system um, on the first boot, then what you would do, you would reset the, you'll restart the entire system, so then um, it'll work perfectly normal again. Now the first boot is normal to take a while to load up. So I'm just going to pause the video and then wait until it's full. Okay, so now the tablet PC is done booting up, you want to um, go over here and calibrate your device. So Oops. I keep on screwing this up, so yeah. 
So you want to go to setup wizard. And it should complete uh, preparing your device. Now, ev now everything is now working, so you just pretty much have to set it up yourself. And if you do have a register thing up there, and a register icon, which you can vaguely see, then you should go into the box of your device and get that registration code. Or, if you are lucky, you can get your registration code by going into your menu, going to settings, going all the way down to about, and you should have uh, you should have it there in your certification number area, which is down the bottom, and you can't see it since the screen is so dodgy. Oops. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and make sure that you prepare your all your devices, um, oops, brightness and everything, and um, set everything up. And yeah, thanks for.